Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to do the future value of an annuity, but we're going to look at the effect of time. Well, what do we mean by that? Well, let's say that a person expects to retire at age 65. Let's say that the person wants to start a retirement annuity, Starts, wants to start an annuity, start earning money, and put an investment aside so when the person retires, they have some money for retirement. Let's say that they can earn 6%. Let's say that they're being paid bi-weekly. And so every week, the person decides, I'm going to put aside $200 every two weeks. That's your periodic payment, bi-weekly, 26 payments per year. And so this would be the equation to calculate the future value. So four scenarios. The first scenario, the person decides at age 55, so that would be 10 years left. And the person decides, I better start putting some money away for my retirement. Let's say that the person is a little smarter and starts at age 45, which means the person has 20 years left before retirement. The third scenario, let's say the person starts at age 35 and therefore has 30 years of savings. And then let's say scenario four, the person begins at age 25 and therefore has 40 years to save money into an annuity. Who's the smartest of the four? Well, depends who wants the most money when they retire and the earlier start the better it is all right four scenarios let's start with age 55 10 years to go 200 dollars six percent interest so therefore in scenario one the future value would be equal to the 200 dollars that we put aside every two weeks times and i guess i use a bracket might as well use the same bracket here so use bracket times one plus the rate 0 0.06 divided by 26 payments per year raised to the 26 times 10 power minus one, and the whole thing divided by 0 0.06 divided by 26. So if we do that, we get the following result. Okay, starting from inside here, we get 0 0.06 divided by 26, add one to that, take that thing and raise it to the 260th power, subtract one from that, now divide by this quantity, which is the same as multiplying by the inverse. I'm going to multiply times 26 and divide by 0 0.06. So times 26, divide by 0 0.06, and multiply times the periodic payment of $200. So that person then, starting at 55, age 55 for 10 years, saves that kind of money, will end up with an account of $71,141.50. It's a nice savings. But if you end up living another 30, 40 years after you turn 65, that may not last. So maybe you want to start saving sooner. So the scenario two, we're going to get the very same result, but instead of 10 years, we're going to have a 20-year period. Let's see how that changes things. So the future value will be $200 times the quantity, 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 26. The whole thing raised to the 26 times and I'll put that in red letters so you can see what has changed so this is going to be 20 years instead of 10 years and then everything else in the equation remains the same so minus 1 and the whole thing divided by 0 0.06 divided by 26 so let's see how much money the person would have if they started saving at age 45 for the last 20 years of their working career and so plugging in the numbers, you get 0 0.06 times, oop, nope, 0 0.06 divided by 26, add that to 1. Now we raise that to the 26 times 20, which is 520th power. So x to the y, 520. Subtract 1 from that, minus 1. Divide by this, the same as multiply times is inverse, so times 26 divided by 0 0.06. And now we multiply that times 200. And... The person starting at age 45 with 20 years to go would now have a savings account of $200,679.27. So almost triple the amount, doubling the time savings, almost triple the amount in the account. What if the person started at age 35? So scenario three, everything would be the same. Future value would be equal to, everything would be the same, it would be $200 times 1 plus 0 0.06 over 26, all raised to the 26 times 30 years. So let me write that in red, so you can see the difference. So this would be 30 years, okay, 
okay? That would be minus 1 divided by 0 0.06 divided by 26. All right. How much, per, how much money would the person have in their retirement account if that started at age 35? So we'll do this thing again. 0 0.06 divided by 26 plus 1. Raise that to the 26 times 30 power. Subtract 1 from that. Divide by this fraction, which is the same as multiply times the inverse, so times 26, divided by 0 0.06, multiply times 200. That person would have 436,549 dollars and 97 cents. So add another 10 years, and the amount of money in the account when you retire would be more than double if you'd only done it for 20 years versus having done it for 30 years. And finally, we're going to do scenario four. So the 30 now becomes a 40. Kind of out of room here, so let's go ahead and just assume now that we do the same thing, but this 30 now becomes a 40 and see what happens. So again, we go 0 0.06 divided by 26 plus one. We raise that to the 26 times 40 power. So x to the y button, 26 times 40, subtract so 1 from that, divide by this the same as multiply by its inverse, so times 26 divided by 0 0.06, and finally multiply times 200. So times 200 equals, and now that person would have 866,000 and $37 and 43 cents. Again, more than double. Every time we add another 10 years, it would be more than double the money in the account. So if the person waited till they're 55 to be in saving $200 a week, only $71,000. Start at age 45 with 20 years to go, $200,000. At age 35 with 30 years to go, almost a half a million dollars. And starting at age 25, with 40 years to go, $866,000 in the account. And just imagine, what if you saved $400 instead of $200 a week? You would have well over a million dollars. So the power of annuities is in its longevity. If you can just start early enough, get yourself disciplined enough to say, I'm going to put some money aside and start saving my annuity early, you can end up with a very nice savings account for retirement. And that's what we mean by annuities. The future value of annuity really depends on time. It's the effect of time that has all the power in that compounded interest. And that's how we do that.